Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to do a big acrylic sign. So the one that you're looking at right now is, uh, let me click on it. I bought the acrylic uh, sign online on Amazon, so you can click on my link there. Uh, it's 24 inches by 36, so two feet by three feet. So it's a pretty big sign. Um, and unfortunately, it's for my brother's celebration of life. So um, I still wanted to make something, you know, like pretty and, um, you know, we wanted to celebrate it. So um, I saw this from Ivy Pink Made. Her grandmother had passed away and it was, you know, I thought it was cool. It's like, yeah, the bright and colorful life of so-and-so and then the, the dates. So I'm gonna show you how to make this. There is a foolproof way. I've done this for all my wedding signs. So I wanna just kind of redo it again, um, just to remind everyone that it's there and that this is the best way to do it. <laughs> so um, first thing is I'm gonna show you two different apps that I end up using because as you can see, my brother's name is Kang and I wasn't really sure what fonts. I knew I kind of wanted like the, you know, the little swoosh with the line. So I, you know, got it on the G I struggled with the K. I really was, you know, trying to find the right font and I didn't I didn't want it so girly, like so feminine, but I still wanted something, you know, like with the swirls and stuff. So you can see all the different things that I considered. I considered lowercase K. This was the the runner up right. Oh, you can't see that. Let me pull it up. Cause my face is right there. <laughs> this was the second runner up because I like the H. Um, but I didn't love the K and so I'm gonna show you how to do all that. The other thing is the bright and colorful life of and the dates. I typically like to use two different fonts. In this case, I actually used more than two fonts, but I'm gonna say it doesn't count because the letter K, the capital K, is of a different font, but the font type is very similar that I feel like it blends in with the rest of this cursive. So that's why what, what i mean about that okay so let's go and look at a couple different things um to show you how i found my fonts and stuff so i'm gonna go to sorry there's so many things in front of me so this is font cloud through creative fabrica it is free so this is not the subscription font cloud is just something that they make available to you why i love font cloud is if you are very good about uploading your fonts so let's say you go to defont and you download a font that you like. The next step is what you wanna do is you wanna go and open up your font, font cloud account, which again is free. Um, and then you wanna drop, you wanna um, upload your font into here because then anytime that you change computers, you can go and access your font cloud account because it's web-based. And, um, you know, if I'm on at my friend's house crafting, I have all my fonts available to me because it it's already here. I can re-download it to whatever device that I'm using. So it is a great font manager. And also you can browse your fonts. So in this case, um, I'm just gonna type in celebration so that, uh, I already have caps lock. <laughs> So you can see all the different ways, right? So this for me was a quick way to find the two fonts that I wanted to work with. All right, let's go to main type. Now main type, as you probably know, um, whenever you go to buy a font or download a font, you see all these extra characters that it comes with, but you can't access it in design space, right? So this is how you do it. So main type, you wanna download main type so you can Google main type and then download it. There is a free version. I'm just gonna click out of that. Okay, okay, there. Um, so it has all your fonts in here and all the characters. <clears throat> so I you know, went with Hannah Berry Koo. You can add like, you know, if you see this Y or G and you like it, then you select it, control C, and then control V to drop into design space. So I use um, design space with these two apps and it really helps me um, find all my fonts and you know use all that. So let's go back to design space now that I've kind of covered that. The first thing that you wanna do with an acrylic sign, and I'm gonna move all this out of the way in a minute. Let me move all this out of the way. Okay, I wanted to leave it in here because I also wanna show you like how I go about um, 
mixing up the fonts, but we'll move that out for now. This is the one that we're going to be working on. So the first thing is I always bring in the, you know, this, the rectangle. So, um, click on shapes, click on square and because it's a square, you need to unlock it so that you can change it into a rectangle. So what you would do is you can unlock it here. So you just click on it or you can unlock it up here. So I'm going to click on this. And then I'm going to change the width to 36 inches, the height to 24 inches. So now I have this, so I know how big my acrylic sign is. If I make everything um, relative to this size, then I know the bright and colorful life of, for instance, is going to look good, even though it's hard to imagine that this is 26 by 34, right? But if everything looks good, uh, in, in size right now, then you know when it gets bigger, it's going to look equally good because it's just going to, um, it's going to stay in proportion, in ratio. Okay. All right. So I like to change this to a lighter color just so that it doesn't get in the way. All right. So the bright and colorful life, let's see, what font did I use? I used Bell, Bell Mountain, I think, or Bell MT. I don't know what that's for. Uh, so let's go to text and and i found it through you know through browsing uh what it would look like so i want bell okay so here it is and i just want to show you so my caps lock is on because i wanted everything caps so the Okay, so I have it here. I'm going to pull it down. So what I want to do is I want to go to alignment and I want to do center because I want everything centered, right? And then I'm just going to copy and paste. So control C and V, um, put that down here. I'm going to click on this. I mean, you don't have to do it this way, but um, where is my little thing? Where's my text box? <laughs> my text box is supposed to come up. Let's see if it comes up now. There it is. Okay, so I'm gonna change this to 1979 to 2021. Okay, so we've got these three things, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab all three items and I'm going to go to align and I want to center it horizontally so that it is lined up perfectly centered, okay? And this is important because later when we go, so my trick is, I'm not gonna make you wait. Um, basically, we're going to, I'm gonna cut this out in vinyl, right? All the words is gonna come out in vinyl. I'm gonna paint the back of the acrylic sign white, so it's gonna you know, look really clean and crisp and beautiful. Um, but before you paint it white, I like to not only cut it in a, in um, vinyl, um, but I'm going to have this drawn out with a pen on my Cricut. And I'm going to put it underneath my acrylic sign and I'm going to line it up. So when I'm laying down my vinyl, um, I have a template. I have a guide and I don't have to worry about do I go five inches in, four inches in? Am I straight? Am I not straight? I'm going to have a drawn, you know, template of drawn ruler, um, basically underneath my acrylic sign. So when I'm applying the vinyl, I don't have to think about it at all. I can just keep my vinyl super like taut so that I don't get any bubbles. I'm going to place it down and it's going to be perfect every single time. Okay. So, uh, we want to make sure that this is lined up already. Let's talk about Kang. So Kang is, let's see, Kang is two different fonts. The first font is, I believe the whole thing is Floristia. So it's from Creative Fabrica. And the K is Madison. Also, I believe from Creative Fabrica. So first thing is, so let's go and type in our text. So here's my text box. I'm gonna go and do, Floristia, one of my favorite fonts. Okay, so I clicked on Floristia and I'm gonna type in the, you know, the, the whole name, okay? And I'm gonna show you what that looks like. So here is Kang. Where 
is my G? I'm gonna type in my G. I don't know what happened to my G. Okay, I'm gonna make it really big so we can see it. Um, so this was just a little bit too much, like the K was a little bit too much for me. And the G, I wanted the longer line, okay? So let's go and figure out how to do that. So we're gonna go to main type and we're going to be in Floristia. So here's Floristia and my G is what I'm looking for, right? So look at all the different extras that we can do with, with Floristia. So the G that I want, I believe is this one. So once you find it, when you, you highlight it, then hit Control C. And then we're gonna Control V and drop it into Design Space. Now, it is very important that when you go to drop it in, you click on the text box. We're putting in a new text box. You need to make sure that the font that selected matches the, sorry, the font selected matches the font that you wanna drop in. Okay, so we wanted Floristia, it's Floristia, we're good. So I'm gonna hit Control V. So when I drop it in, it's gonna drop in the G that I want. And then I'm just going to make this bigger to match kind of, you know, the same size, right? So I'm gonna click on this for now and I'm gonna ungroup it. And I'm gonna move, I'm gonna delete that G because I want this G. So I'm gonna put this in. And you can kind of decide where you wanna put that, okay? All right, so now the K. The K is a different K. So I am going to go to text. And the K was, what was it, Madison? Let's see. So instead of Floristia, let's type in Mad see what we get it is Madison okay and I wanted the capital K let's see what it gives me perfect so it is the K that I wanted so I'm gonna get rid of this K I'm gonna put this K in and the thing about this K is let me make it match this one in size so I wanted about this big I wanted the rest of this though to kind of fit smaller. And the reason is because, let's look at this right now, okay? Um, I'm gonna move this for a second just to move it out of the way. So if I had it something like this right now, this is 12.6 inches. It is too big, right? So I want to make sure, and it's too long, it's 27 inches. So depending on the size of vinyl that you have, most of us have, I would say maybe 12 by 24. So I don't want the K to be connected to the H, H and G. Okay. Um, the other thing though, is I need this to be 11 and a half inches. Otherwise it's, I can make it a little bit bigger, but you know, 11 and a half inches is fine. So I'm gonna grab, oops. It didn't, un oh, oops, shoot. <laughs> okay, sorry, my computer's a little slow today. I'm just gonna change this over here to 11.5. Okay, and we can mess with this later. But for now, I'm gonna grab this and I'm gonna weld it because I want everything, I don't want the H to cut out by itself and then the A to cut out by itself. I want this to flow and be one. And then I'm gonna look at this K and I think I'm gonna make this even smaller. And I wanted, I'm gonna have it where it overlaps a little bit and I don't think anyone's gonna notice that. Okay, so let's say we like this, okay? I'm going to attach it now. I don't, normally I would center everything, but here's the reason why I don't like this centered, and I'm just gonna show you. I'm gonna grab all of this, right? And I'm gonna align, and I'm gonna click center horizontally. And I feel like the Kang looks off-centered because it's taking into consideration this long swoop of the tail, and so I don't think it looks good like this. So I'm actually going to move this over and I'm going to just kind of eyeball it. I'm looking, I'm kind of matching up the K and the G to the date. So it may be like something like this. 
would be good. So the K comes down like from here to here and then here maybe even, I don't know. I think it's gonna look okay because of the swirls. You're not gonna notice it. But, all right, let's say we like this, okay? So let me delete this one and we're gonna work with this one. Um, real quick though, let's just look at a few of these, okay? So, this one I'm gonna show you. So this is Hanaberry Koo. I considered this for a split second, okay? So let's say we want a G that's funky from Hanaberry Koo. So I'm gonna go down into main type and I'm gonna Hanaberry, um, so I can see what my options are, right? Uh, so let's see, um, let me scroll down. Here's my G, I like this G, okay? So I've selected it, I'm gonna hit Control C, and then I'm gonna go back to Design Space, open up my text box, and I'm gonna do this on purpose, okay? So you, if you remember, the you have to be in the same font that you're gonna drop in. So we're dropping in Hanaberry Koo, but the current font is Madison. I'm still going to drop it in so you can see what happens. So I'm gonna hit Control V, and I get this. I get an unsupported character, okay? So let's drop in again. Let's go to text box, but this time change it to Hanaberry. So now it's the font matches what I'm going to drop in and then I'm going to hit control V and ta -da! there is my beautiful G with the swirl. Okay, then all you do, oh look, oh my gosh, and it matches perfectly. <laughs> so I'm gonna um, ungroup this and then switch out the G. So I wanted to show you how easy that is, but you can kind of see over here, let me make this, can I make this smaller? I can't. Um, my point is that I really, you know, I was looking at a bunch of different fonts and um, different swirls because look at this G compared to this G so there's a lot of a lot of options and sometimes you know within the same kind of like font family like Floristia, Madison, Hanaberry Koo um, you can kind of mix the, the the letters up depending on which one works for you so you can do that you can still drop it in design space make sure that the font that you're dropping in matches the font you know that's uh, currently in design space um, but other than that, I mean, you have a lot of flexibility. So, you know, I do, I, I love all of that. Okay. In the meantime, let's get rid of all this. Now we're getting to the nitty gritty of the, of the acrylic tutorial. So let me get back over here. Okay. So then I'm going to make a copy of this. Okay. So let's control C and control V. And as soon as that happens, okay, I'm gonna move it over. Okay, this first copy, this is going to be um, what we actually cut out, you know, on the mats. This is gonna be in vinyl, right? So let's look at these items. So this is 4.644 by 24 by 12, point point 12. I think if you, I have enough, I, um, depending on your machine, right? Because if you use your Cricut Maker 3 or your Air 3, you can cut it as is. If you are um, using the Maker and just like an Air 2, you would need to rotate this. Let's rotate this and see. I'm gonna now unlock it. Twelve point one eight seven and twelve point one four eight. Wow. Um, okay. So what I would do is I would ungroup this and I would cut out each line separately. So this line I would attach. This line I would attach because 
24.14 so I think I can rotate this yeah and this would be 22.2 by 10.6 so this will fit for you to cut if you didn't have one of the new machines okay so that's going to be fine let's look at this Kang um, Kang we were going to detach and we're only going to cut this and then we're cutting the K separately right so that it all fits on our mat and we have enough vinyl for it and same thing with this this is 11.7 by 1.4 so perfect this we're all going to cut on vinyl and it's all um you know you can cut on a 12 by 24 mat um i hope this makes made sense as to why we separated these two because this alone can fit on a 12 by 24 mat right and you can cut it with 12 by 24 vinyl but this one you need to rotate it diagonally to fit because it's a little bit over 23.5, right? So if you were uh, con you, you had constraints where you can only cut up to 23.5, that's your workaround is you cut this line at a diagonal, you're gonna waste a lot of vinyl. I mean, you can save it, but it's gonna cut diagonally and it will fit, okay? So this is your vinyl that you're gonna cut that we're gonna put on the acrylic sign. This copy is going to be for, um, whatchamacallit and let me i'm gonna change the color of this okay just so that we can distinguish between this one and this one over here okay so this this and this we're gonna weld then <laughs> i know um okay then Let's put this, just stick with me for now, okay? We're gonna grab all of this and we're gonna position it to whole numbers, okay? So give me a second, grab it, and then the position, I'm gonna round up. So I'm gonna round to 46 and 11. Oops, how did it go to 16, 46. It should move over in a second as soon as design space catches up with me. What just happened? Don't do this to me. Okay, so weird right now. Um, it's like all blank. All right, I'm gonna grab this again and I'm gonna change this to 46 and five. And hopefully it will adjust. Okay, so it adjusted. The reason why I did that is now we're gonna bring in squares, okay? And we're gonna line them up because this is gonna be drawn out and it's gonna go under our acrylic sign, okay? I know, stick with me on this one. I'm gonna change this to 11 by 11 because we're gonna use you know 12 by 12 cardstock, don't mind me, I'm gonna put this down. Where is my square, where did it go? Um, I'm gonna move it to five and five. I think it like disappeared on me. Where's my square? And what, oi, why did it do that? What in the world? Okay, let me undo this for a second. I don't know what just happened. Maybe when I look back at the video, I'll know. I'm going to undo a couple steps. But basically, if you guys follow me, this is like an off the map because it's so big, right? It's two feet by three feet. So we're going to line up the squares. So I want to line up on a grid so that I am not, um, I'm not overlapping and I'm not missing like there aren't any gaps at all because we're going to line it up and we're going to tape it together and then we're going to put it underneath our acrylic sign. So that's going to make it picture perfect. All right, I'm just going to delete this. I don't know what's going on here. Let me go back to my sign. Where is my sign? Oh, I hate it when it does this to me. Okay, there's my sign. Let me bring in my, oh, not an image. I want to bring in a square, sorry. 
Um, so it's like an off the map project. The only thing different is we're not cutting it, we're gonna be drawing it. So you will need to put a pen in there, okay? So I put in a square, all right. And then put it over here. All right, and we're gonna change this to 11, but 11, okay. So here's our first square. I'm gonna put it right here. It's gonna be close. And then I'm just gonna go up here and round to the nearest whole number. So that's gonna be 46 and five. So the reason why I put it on a, on a whole number is so that our square can line up directly on that acrylic sign, okay? I'm gonna duplicate this square and I'm gonna put it right here. And again, I'm gonna go over here and do 57 and five. So now I know that my two squares are totally butt up against each other. And I can check because this square is at 46, right? My paper's 11, I'm saying it's 11 inches. So 46 plus 11 is 57 and there's 57, right? So these two squares pretty much, if I line it up underneath my acrylic sign, it's gonna get the two lines here. It's gonna get the top of the K. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna duplicate my square and I'm gonna line it up down here. So now with these three squares, I'm actually getting all the words. I don't really need to draw out everything because once you have most of it straight, the rest just falls down, right? When you're, when you're putting down the vinyl. So on this square, again, I'm going to line it up like that okay you ready so now i'm going to get rid of this big rectangle i don't need it because it's our actual acrylic sign right i'm going to grab these two items and i'm going to slice so this square plus all the words then as soon as it actually slices which it's thinking I'm gonna grab the second square and the words and slice. Then I'm gonna grab this one and slice. So we're gonna get rid of everything, but I mean, obviously this we have to cut in vinyl. That's actually what's gonna go on our acrylic sign, right? And then over here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull apart these sheets that have this. This we can delete, we don't need that. This is our, we don't need that. We, will, we want, oh man, okay. Oof. It kind of messed up right there, but I wouldn't worry about it. Let's look at this. Delete that. Okay, so let me get rid of this. Okay, so, this we're gonna change from cut to draw with a pen. So it's actually going to draw this line. This line is the top of our acrylic sign, okay? Then on this one, we're also gonna change to draw and it's gonna draw the corner of our acrylic sign. So you see how this will match up and so this will line up, this one's funky, it messed up. I don't know what's gonna happen when I click on draw. What I would do is, if I was actually doing this right now, is I would undo my steps and recut this one, but it kinda doesn't matter because there's enough of it here for me to line up, you see? And then you'll know where to put it, okay? So let's actually go to make it. Uh, why is it incompatible? What is incompatible over here? It's saying this is incompatible. It really isn't. Technically, we should be able to cut this. So I'm kind of annoyed that Design Space is giving me this error. Um, because if you remember when I rotated this and I looked at my new sizing, so let's rotate this for a second. Oh, I gotta rotate it a little bit more. So 23.3, that is totally in line with 23.5, that's less than that. And at 7.1, I should be able to cut this. I don't know why I'm getting an error. Oh no, okay, now I'm not getting an error. So weird, all right, so you, I guess you have to, 
move everything around for design space to accept it. Okay, I clicked on make it. Let's see what I want to show you what the what the uh, make it screen looks like. So I actually had this same issue with my Hello Kitty. So my Hello Kitty, it's the same way that I've been doing it for years. It worked before and now it's just spinning. So I really think that this isn't gonna work. Um, I think we do have to go under 23.5. They must've changed how they do their calculations and it's not letting you make it anymore, even though technically it would work. So um, what I would do knowing that is I would make it just a little bit smaller. So you're not gonna go as big. It, we were so close, so we just shrunk it a little bit on the acrylic sign. I don't think anyone would notice it. I'm going to exit out of this. This is crazy. Um, how annoying is that? I can't believe that update. I'm going to have to post it in the Facebook groups to see. Anyway, let me know what you think. I am going to make this because this is going to be for my brother's celebration of life. And so I'm going to show you how easy it is to apply it. I will be using a, I think I'm going to do the brushed metallic um adhesive vinyl in gray or silver and then i'm going to paint it white on the back so um trying to make it still a little bit more masculine even though i picked my girly fonts a little bit all right thank you so much i hope that was helpful and i will talk to you guys later so just post your comments questions and i'm gonna get to the bottom of this but i'm pretty sure that's that's what's happening all right bye guys